In today's video, I'll show you the best OBS recording settings for Mac OS. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. First things first, what you need to do is get OBS running once you have the latest version and everything. Simply go to the settings right over here. The first thing we need to do is go to video tab right over here. And once you open your video tab, you will see a bunch of different things. So we have base and output scaled resolution. If you are plugged into the monitor, external monitor, just like me right now, you will see your monitor resolution right here, which is 2560 by 1440. I have a 1440p monitor. If you're using the normal screen from your MacBook, then your resolution will be completely different, but make sure to choose the highest one that exists right there. The aspect ratio will be something really weird, but that's how Apple works and you can't really do much about it. And then on the output scaled resolution, you want to scale it down to either 1080p or something else. It really depends what you want. If you want it to be the same resolution, keep both of these as the same resolution. So if you have an external monitor, choose the external monitor, which is a normal 16 by 9 ratio, either 1440p or 1080p. If you're using your Mac screen, then use whatever you have as a Mac screen. Downscale filter, do not change anything over here. And then common FPS values, make sure this is 60. If you're gaming, 30. If you're not really gaming, if you're just chatting, whatever else. But usually 60 or 30 is the way to go. And then you want to go into the output tab over here and you want to go to the output mode and choose advanced. Once you're in advanced, you go to recording and then you will change a bunch of things here, which will make the footage much better. So first thing we need to change is the recording path, which is basically where we want the video to be recorded. I set it up in movies and in uh, OBS recording. You can set it wherever you want. I mean, it is a Mac after all, and it has an SSD. So no matter where you place it, it will be fine because you're saving it to an SSD. Recording format, make sure to choose MKV over here, because if you do choose MP4, you will lose all your footage in case something happens, like the power goes off or your OBS crashes or something else, you will lose the whole footage. When you're using MKV, no matter what happens to that moment, it will save the file and you can recover it. Don't worry, we will be converting this to MP4 later and I'll show you how and you can do it basically automatically. It's really sick. Once you choose MKV over here, you go into the video encoder and you will have a bunch of different encoders. What we want to do is we want to choose the Apple VT and we want to choose HEVC. You will see ProRes, you'll see H.264, you will also see X.264, which is your CPU. You do not want to use your CPU, you want to use your GPU, which is this one. And you want to choose HEVC as that one uses the least resources and it looks the best. If you use H.264 or ProRes, it will be massive. The file size will be humongous. So you want to choose HEVC hardware encoder. You don't want to choose software, you want to choose hardware. That way you get the best quality with the least amount of resources used. Audio encoder is Core Audio AAC, Audio Track 1, and that's it for this tab right here. Now, when we scroll down, you will see encoder settings, and this is where it gets interesting. You will see a bunch of rate controls. We want to choose CRF, as that is literally the best one for uh, recording on Mac. So choose CRF. The default quality will be 60, but I've seen people use from 60 to 80, and that's basically the best like sweet spot for the file size and the quality. So you can play around with these, see what works the best for you. I found 80 works the best for the footage that I record. Some people might have issues and, you know, just getting like huge file sizes with this. So you can lower it down if you're gaming a lot or recording long sessions. Limit bitrate, don't choose this. Keyframe interval, make sure to put this on zero seconds. That way it goes into auto. Profile needs to be main and disable use B frames as it just doesn't make sense on a Mac. So once you've chosen these, once you've done these, that's totally fine. Click on apply on the left side and then go into audio. We want to change all the tracks to 320 as that is the best audio bitrate we can get on OBS. And there's just no point on recording in 160. So you can double the audio bitrate to 320 on all the tracks and then go into the audio tab itself. Once you're in the audio tab, make sure your sample rate is on 48 kilohertz and your channel is on stereo. Now you're set and then you go into the microphone and desktop audio and you choose your devices that you're currently using, obviously. Make sure to choose those and then go into the advanced tab. And here's where we change that thing that I was talking before, where it auto converts every file to MP4. So choose automatically Remax to MP4. Make sure this is toggled on. Once you've toggled it on, 
every time you record and you finish recording, it will remux that MKV file that you chose into MP4 and then you can just use it for video editing or whatever else you really want. So it will not corrupt anytime something happens like your OBS crashes or your power goes off, but you will still get the MP4 in the end, which is amazing. And that's basically it. Those are the best OBS recording settings in 2024 for a Mac OS. If you guys did like this video, make sure to drop a like. It would mean the world. If you don't already know, I do stream on Twitch three days a week. Link is down in the description below. Anyway, if you want to see more of my OBS guides, make sure to check this video right over here. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and have a good one. Bye-bye.